back. Random TV reviews, your girl and I. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we got to apologize because last week yeah. we did not do a review at all. The intention was we were going to do it on Thursday. Long story short, my mother-in-law, Stanley's mother, was here for two weeks. So we were doing a lot of things with her. Her birthday mm -hmm. was, Thursday. Was, was Thursday. So we took her out for her birthday. Then on the leg of that, my mom came down with bronchitis so we've been dealing with that but everything is only up and up so we do apologize and yeah. then after like the second day we were like it's no need yeah. to even doing a review we'll just let's we just come fresh with a fresh episode y'all want y'all want like a five second rundown of what happened last week count down for me yeah uh the, the whole um tour was a me too movement ready to happen uh, Treasure tried to seduce Lulu. Mm -hmm. He didn't fall for the okie -do. Uh Andre started treatment and then Lulu found out about that treatment uh -huh. and Kaidon came back. That was <laughs> the whole episode in yep. a not doing nutshell. Okay, so this episode was entitled Without All Remedy. Okay, so last week we left off at where Cookie had went over there to Damon Cross room and dropped the jacket and we assumed that she went over there to sleep with him, right? But we do know that she didn't come home because on this episode, we picked up where Lucius had killed old boy, Treasure's um old manager, whatever. Yeah. Him dead, don't matter. That punk. So, couldn't find Cookie. And Cookie ended up being over there with her sister Carol and Lucius called Carol's phone. And Carl was like, this is not a good time, da da da. He went on to let him know, like, listen, something's up with Andre. We need to bring the family together. So the entire family just came on over there to the compound. And basically it all was laid out on the table of what the diagnosis is, what the treatment plan is, da 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 da. -da. So Lucius and Cookie go into mama and daddy mode mm -hmm. mama bear papa bear what we're not going to do is have you over there getting your treatment over there we're going to set up shop over, over here. here we're mm -hmm. going to make this our treatment facility you're going to get your treatments here we're going to watch over you we're going to cancel everything we need to do we're going to take care of you andre was like that's not what no. this is all about no that's... i got this yeah <laughs> me and terry have this y'all do what y'all need to do and then eventually the brothers went off to the side and Andre had a good talk with the brothers and he was like, listen, what y'all don't need to do at this time is to stop this tour. Yeah. Y'all need to stay on the road and y'all need to stand up and do what y'all are supposed to do. Show me that this is the legacy that is worth fighting for. And I was like, darn. So he I, was, I thought they were totally going to start singing. And he, he and you know, said, every time an Andre and Christ, they got to sing now. So Andre was lean like, on me. bring it on in. Because they uh -huh. did have a lean on me moment uh -huh. right there. So you going to start singing? And Andre said, listen, I need y'all to believe that I'm going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'll believe it. I'll believe that I'm okay. I said, oh, Lord. Yeah, See, that was deep. Listen here, Lee Daniels. I done took and told y'all that it's not going to be Andre in the casket. Although, it's starting to look like all, it's Andre in the casket. All Rose is pointing that way. But I think he fooling us, though, man. He got to because that would I be think... the dumbest and the easiest storyline Yeah, line because cause we've, been, cause we've been drawing too far into it now. Yeah. Yeah, we too far into it. So, I think this is a, a pretty much a distraction mm -hmm. from who is really, really going to end in up casket. in that casket. So, you know, Cookie and Lucius, they're still on the outs because she still thinks that that whole thing that she ran up on with him and Treasure, she thinks that that was typical Lucius. I mean, I would have thought so too if I rolled up on much as Bush get heat them dead. Yeah, so. In the past. So Lucius was like, listen, we need to come together and we need to squash all mm -hmm. of this and we need to take care of our. And she said, you know what, my focus right now is to take care of our first point. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. It's not, not your firstborn. I said, God, <laughs> yo, this is the first season that Lulu really hasn't been guilty of a whole lot of skit, but he is so reaping what he has sowed over the years. Say them colors and changed him, man. The, he been crying every episode. <laughs> every since them colors, man. Every since them, <laughs> he been crying. Maybe some other people out here in this world need to see some colors. Include me. Maybe your president need to see them colors. I don't have a president. I knew you was going to say that. <laughs> that seat has been vacant for a while. <laughs> Said, oh, put, don't put him on me. You want to see me click off. Just say something. Say it. Say it. God darn it. Ooh. So over there, they're having rehearsal for the trust tour. 
and nothing is going right. You have um, Porsche over there talking about the dancers are complaining about their um their, their hotel, hotel accommodations. Blake comes in there drunk. <laughs> Tiana's trying to get her number together that's not working while she's trying to get her stuff together. What's his name? Kamalita, whatever his name is. Yeah. He's too busy trying to be up at her butt trying to mm, pick up off of what they did last night that he can't even get his skit together. She can't get her skit together. It was just a whole buck. Yeah. Okay. So, Kai, did Kai come through then? I don't know if Kai came through then or not. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but we're going to get Kai yeah. out of the way. Yeah. Because he back. And he won. I ain't think. Wait, 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 wait. I ain't think he was coming back. I thought I he was either. done. I thought that the lion um, freaking drama and mess just ran him off. Like, you know what? I'm free now. And I can live my life. My best it's life. Like, the way that I want to. Because I ain't got time to Outside of y'all freaking lions. But you came back to the lions then? That's literally. Deep. You came back to the Lions Den player. You must really love yourself some Jamal, man. Or is it a setup? Had the feds got a quote to you? Huh. We ain't seen no cameras yet, so we ain't gonna put that on him yet. He is a reporter, so we he know how to do it without He got that camera. recorder in his freaking pocket, man. So he basically tells Jamal, and I'm skipping ahead a little bit, because <clears throat> Jamal is like, okay, it feels good that you're back. Okay, whoop de woo But at the end of the day, I'm a lion first. And mm -hmm. you have to understand that that's where the conflict of our relationship comes into play. You don't like what a lion does. Mm -hmm. And at this moment right now, I am about the lion family business. And I don't think you fit in this equation anywhere. And I was like, listen, this is a part of your life right now where you need somebody that's going to be level-headed and to keep you under control where you feel like you're going out of control. Basically told him... Take this goddamn ring, put, put it back, back on home. your finger, shut the buck up, and be in my bed later. And he liked that. <laughs> he was like, he was okay, like, oh, okay, thank put it back on. He was <laughs> like, thank you, Sandy. <laughs> I was like, okay, is that what it took for somebody to tell you no? <laughs> no, that works for some people. <laughs> so, um, Lulu wants to drop treasure. Now that she came on to him and it was very inappropriate, he was like, listen, she got to go. Giselle was like, no, no. She the hottest thing going right now. She is so an asset to our team right now. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to let her go. No, if it hadn't hit the blogs and all that good stuff, then act like it never happened. Lucia said, no, no, no. Well, basically, you don't know what she tried to do. Yeah. So what we going to have to do. For the sake of me mm -hmm. and my relationship. We need to let her go. We need to let her go. Let another label have her. Uh-huh. And he said, if she that hot, let them fight. <laughs> <you know? laughs> so, Miss Cookie. Cookie is a satisfied. And I don't even know if it was a thing of being satisfied with the treatment plan that Andre and, um, what's this girl name? Tracy? Oh. Um, Tracy? Tracy. Is it Tracy? For some reason, I, I, I don't see. Terry. Terry, one yeah. Of yeah. Um, she's not really satisfied. And I think she's not fully satisfied with the treatment plan because she had no say in it. Yeah. So now she's she still flies. still trying to be a mama. And I can get it. Yeah, I get it. Um, yeah. She flies in this doctor. And the doctor wants to, you know, reevaluate Andre's case and want to see this, that, and the third. And Andre and Terry was like, we have this. We've yeah, done we the research. Uh -huh. Terry's a nurse. You know, the plan that we have in place it's is working. It's working for me right now. Basically, if I need your help, I'd ask for it. Well, eventually, Cookie didn't let up. And Miss Terry had had a friggin' enough. <laughs> and she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Miss Cookie. She was like, listen, what you're not going to do is sit here and act like I don't know what I'm talking about. And then what you're not going to do is not act like I'm not the lady in his life right now. Because first and foremost, he came to me and With told the diagnosis. me yeah. about the diagnosis. And I fed him through a straw when he was too weak to feed himself. So what we're not going to do is act like anything that I've done is... <laughs> And she said, and what you're not going to do is forget that I am his mother. 
And so I said, we go. Mama, wow, them, wow. Them, mama, them, mama, them boys. Mama's and them boys, buddy. Yeah, well, I don't care if they've yeah. been married for 25 years. If mama wants to come over with a can of chicken noodle soup, you better let you better her let, do it. You better let her in, or she's going to burn out the whole goddamn <laughs> house. The whole house with her son in it. And, just then, and, then, and then threaten the freaking firefighter that you better get my son out that fire before he burn up. <laughs> That's what she'll do. A whole mess. <laughs> So Miss Treasure came by the house to see Cookie, and I said, "You, you, you got a little you bit of buzz." You were brave. You was brave, but I can appreciate it. I though. can appreciate what I she did. I can appreciate her coming by there to make it right, by. And she confessed to Cookie. She told Cookie. She said, "Listen, all my life I had to fight. I had to fight my <laughs> dad. I had to fight my uncle." She said, "Listen, these old record lab record labels and these managers." They t have taught me and groomed me that in order to get the attention of the high guys in great positions, I got to do a little something extra, extra mm -hmm. to make them hear me. And I come to find out that Lucius was different. And I apologize, Cookie. He had nothing to do with it. And Cookie was like, Oh, huh? hold on. Wait a minute. Right. Skirt, 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 skirt. 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 He what? He did, did, did what? So she was like, you know what? Treasure, we're not going to um, drop you off the label. You have a whole lot of growing to do, and I'm going to get you a nice old um, counselor. I'm mm -hmm. going to get our young lady here. Some help. And she's going to get you to cry, and she's going to give you some beads, mm -hmm. and she's going to give you a room that you can bat some skit around in, <laughs> and we're going to get you a healing, but she's not going to fight you for your healing. And, and we're going to work with you because you're young. Beloved. <laughs> yes. You're young, dumb, and full of... Uh, and it, it's going to be okay. So now Cookie is thinking like, oh, skit. I don't I fucked up. up. And Carol already told her, said, listen, Cookie, <laughs> the kind of man that Lucius is. He can't handle that kind of information. So Especially you, come from Damon Cross. Say you better not nah. tell nobody but God. <laughs> yeah. So she caught in the pickle because it's going to be on her conscience forever. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, for all the stuff that Lucius did to her, he ought to forgive her. But you know how, yeah, you know how the bros are, nah, man. man can't do it. Yeah. But... So Lucius is still, Lucius is not handling Andre's diagnosis well at all. And mostly because of past guilt. That's what I say. Yeah. Um, Because Andre had gotten, what did he? Kind of like the whooping cough. It's yeah, a little bad cough where you can't stop. When he was um little and they didn't have any medicine um or means to take him to yeah. the doctor. So they had called around to clinics and whatnot <clears throat> and a nurse had told Lucia said, take the baby outside so that he can get the nice cold air in his lungs and it will flush out the bacteria and do all that stuff. That's why the old people used to say, go on on outside and get you some fresh air. Uh -huh. So um he convinced Cookie to go ahead and take Andre outside and see if that would make him better because at this point the boy was coughing like yeah, every half a yeah, second yeah he wouldn't stop and your poor little chest can't keep up with that it just uh -huh. can't and andre had looked at lucius and lucius was like in that moment it was almost like my son knew that i knew ne he needed he to get, get better. better and he was telling the story to andre he told andre he said nothing's changed I need you to know that your father needs you to get better. Mm -hmm. And Andre was like, but I don't want to be a burden on nobody. And he was like, what you talking mm -hmm. about? Yeah. See, now we're talking, we talking about Dwight. We're, we're in Dwight because the old yeah. Lucius did make Andre feel like, like, like he was a he burden. Was a burden. burden. Exactly. He was the one with mental illness. He was exactly. the one that people were embarrassed, you mm -hmm. know, to have around in the functions because you just didn't know what they he, just, he when just, just going to click. He just only needed Andre to do the books at Empire. And shut Keep up. a low profile. Don't say nothing in public. Yeah. <laughs> be cool. Yeah, until we get to the house. <laughs> but, why, but why we got to always be in crisis to treat each other right? Why can't we just, just innately, just, I use it innately. Hey, I knew what you meant. It's, yeah. it's too late for real <laughs> <Yeah>. words. <laughs> Why can't we just treat each other right just because it's the right freaking thing to do, man? For and because I love you as my brother or sister. Mm -hmm. Especially within family, man. Them you take man. all this right here for them to show some love and respect to Andre. Mm -hmm. That's the truth, though. Yeah, it took all this right here. So maybe, maybe that's what needed to happen, I guess. I don't know. Mm -mm. So over there at, um, they're, they're on, over there at the Truth um, Trust tour, they rehearsing again. And still, 
they can't get their skit together. The guys are over there fussing about ham on riders. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just a lot. You got Portia over there. Know. She stole the bow from a Aretha Franklin's hat that she had on when we had a real president. Um, it was just a lot going on. And um, earlier, Jamal had had a talk with Hakeem and told Hakeem, listen, baby boy, you going to step up and do what your brother asked you to do or not. And Hakeem was like, y'all the two that's the closest. Y'all always been close. They ain't really got nothing to do with me. He said, hold on, what? He said, every week when Andre was in prison, he, he would call, call me mm -hmm. just to check and see and what you, you were doing. doing. And I was yep. saying to myself, why he ain't call him? But that's beside the point. <laughs> but I do, you know, they I did understand. fall yeah, out I, because yeah, uh -huh. he did kill his wife. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. So they went on up and up. Yeah. So... That talk did Hakeem a little bit of good. So Hakeem actually helped Jamal get the troops back under order mm -hmm. and was like, listen, if you're not going to do this, don't do it at all. We in our hometown. They deserve respect. Everybody out there got some issues they came in here with. Yeah. Now we need to they distract need to them from whatever they got going on for the little bit of time we're on, on stage. Yeah. Let's create a new reality for these people. And whatever beef y'all got, y'all need to work it out. And if y'all can't, take your hot pots back home on uh, your own dime. Exactly. They got their skit together and whatnot. And next thing you know, you know, they're giving Andre a respectable tribute doing the performance and whatnot. And they kind of, they did lean on me. Yep. <laughs> and I said, Okay, they had all the pictures and whatnot. The first thing that went to my mind was, everybody don't know what's going on with Andre. So y'all yeah. just don't put it out put there the on Front Street. Yeah, got everybody wondering what the heck is going yeah. on. But they played them clips that they be playing at the funerals, though. Yeah, that's why I said it. Yeah, them little, them little, yeah those freaking um, slideshows showing the pictures and stuff. They treated it like a memorial service. Yeah, I was like, making everybody cry. And, but, I mean, of course, they couldn't cry because they don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. And I said, so, that's, that's, that's what we do, though. Like, people go on Facebook and be like, don't ask me no questions, but I need you to pray for my family. No, I, I, need, I need to ask some questions. Exactly. Don't put it out there if you want me to ask that. <laughs> So Cookie decides that, okay, now that she knows that Lucius did not come on to Miss Treasure, she needs to figure out a way to smooth this thing over that happened with Mr. Dame across. So she invited him over to Empire to have a meeting with him. And she was like, listen, what happened last night, we can never tell a soul. It, we, we can't. Nobody can know. Lucius definitely cannot know. And he was like, uh, well, of course I'm going to tell nobody else about us. And then come to find out, <laughs> she almost was getting ready to give him the cookie. And she couldn't do it. She yeah, couldn't she go, through go through with it. it. And she basically ran up out of there. But still, because she even considered doing it. It's still cheating. It's still cheating in Lucia's eyesight. Yeah. It's, when he hear about it, because you know he going to hear about it. Because Dame is going to make sure that, she, that he hears about it. So then she talks about the fact that right now she has too much going on. Her son has been diagnosed with stage four cancer, blah, 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 blah. And she was like, I believe a whole lot of this is my karma, is my fault. And Dave Cross said, you ain't big enough for that. So you ain't you, that important. You're not that important. And she was and like, she was say, like say what? He was like, what I mean to say is, I feel how you feel because I've been there. I had that same feeling when my daughter was diagnosed with cancer. And what I need you to know is, you're not big enough to bring on nothing like that. Nah. No matter how good you are and how bad, bad you are, are you're, that's yeah. not karma. Karma. You can't, you can't bring that into your life like that. Exactly. So don't think that for a minute any of this is your fault. So that kind of made her feel a little better and whatnot. But I'm like, just because you told him that your son has cancer, don't mean that don't mean still. That, yeah, that you off the hook. That you off the say hook. Don't, say don't put your guys down there. <laughs> no, at all. So Cookie and Lucius ended up kind of making up after that. And she kind of smoothed things over in a way that made me think that she was going to confess. Yeah. About it because she got into bed with him. And she was, well, let me back up. Because before that, the doctor had came over. Yeah. And, you know, they were sitting around with Andre. And the doctor was like, how do you feel, Andre? And he was basically giving this heart half a smart <laughs> I'm my nails and all this. It's it it like, tell, Andre, tell, tell, him, like, Andre, tell, tell him how you feel for real. He said, I feel awful. awful. 
He said, I just feel terrible. She said, that's good. Yeah, because means, that means it's working. It's working. I was like, and she huh? said, your blood count, your blood, your your um your tests are robust, and this means that you move on this to round two. And I'm like, hmm. something that one of our subscribers said in the comments last week, and it just it keeps ringing in my mind. Remember when Andre was in there with the machines and he was on his cell phone, and you know that those cell phones can make those machines give false readings. Yep. What? if Andre's diagnosis is wrong and he's getting a false read. But of course now he is sick because the medicine is going to be him making sick. him sick. Exactly. So maybe with Cookie still being adamant about having his doctor kind of in the cut a little bit, what if this doctor finds out that he really doesn't have cancer mm. and reevaluates and be like, Something just don't seem right. Let's go ahead and retest him. Yeah. And then as soon as he stopped take, taking because, the medicine, but think, he I back. think about it. Because I think about it, yeah, he didn't start going down until he started doing the treatment. Well, that's most people anyway. Yeah. That's why most people do not do the treatments. Because it was like, usually it's going to take him down. If they don't feel like they're strong enough to bounce back from it, they just won't do it. Because mm -hmm. that, that medicine is a model barker. Mm -hmm. So... Cookie made up with Lucius, and like I said, I thought she was going to confess because she stood up in the bed, and she was <laughs> like, Lucius, I have something to tell you. And he was like, what, baby? Uh -huh. What you got to tell me? And she said, I love, love you. you. <laughs> she said, well, I love you too, baby. I said, Lucius, all these hearts that you don't broke, all these kitty cats that you don't slid in and out of, you couldn't tell that she had something else she really wanted to tell you. Uh-huh. That, that, that she created a whole big moment like that just to say, For I love nothing? you? Oh no, she love you, but baby, I ain't. She I ain't almost, she almost slid them panties to the side. <laughs> Say, remember that hot pocket you had in the freezer? I kind of ate that. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know I mean, it's way bigger than that. Yeah. Way bigger than that. So we gonna see what's gonna happen on on these upcoming episodes. We see that Kingsley is back. And now he's talking I, to the feds. I'm, I'm like, gonna put this out here. I'm over it. Yeah, some people said in the comments too. I, I kind of think now I think Kingsley is gonna be the one that's gonna be in the casket. And the reason why I hope the reason why I'm gonna say this because just when the episode went off, Lucia said maybe I need to go make it right with my firstborn so that Andre can get well. Which we know that's not you know realistic. That you don't do right by somebody else to get somebody else right. That's, but you, you know, know that's what, that's, that old, that's, that's that country mess. That's that old school stuff. You know, reap what you sow. He, the, 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 the principal said, "You reap what you sow, not somebody so else." And it's what so, so so whatever you sow, that's what you reap. So if you doing bad, you reap the bad. Not nobody else that's close to you. But mm -mm. they gonna feel the effects of the storm. You know, if, I, if we both outside is raining, it's gonna rain on both of us. Mm -hmm. You know, but the lightning gonna strike your home, Paul. But the, it's not raining on you because I did something. You know. <laughs> Straight from the <laughs> 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 to that holler.